Hey, what's up, stickers? I know you with Dr. Hutchins, your career psychic, and you're ready for episode five, the final episode in our K-pop ships compatibility countdown for Kim Tae Young of BTS. Are you ready? Army, come on in. Let's go. Hey, what's up, seekers? Looking in the future, peekers. You K-pop breakers coming round and see us every weekers. Yo, diehard K-pop fans, I want to know your stands. Just let us know your bias, then go ahead, try us. Welcome, everybody. This is J-Rap Psychic, my little brother, J-Rap Psychic. And this is going to be episode number five. Our final episode, our final countdown for K-pop ships compatibility countdown. So we're going to be busy today. What we're going to do, I'm excited, but we're going to find out finally for Kim Tae Young, who is the best, most compatible ship based on four criteria that we've done through these episodes, and we're finally to the last one. And so what we're going to do today is we're going to look at Western astrology. We're going to look at traditional Western astrology, see the top 10 and who's most compatible with Tay Tay. Then we're going to see who did not make 50% and who might be eliminated. Elimination countdown round four, where we're going to see who is eliminated, if anybody, uh, on the final elimination. And then we're going to do the final top 10 countdown, see who is most compatible with Kim Young of BTS on K-pop ships, compatibility, countdown. So let's get ready to stumble, because not everybody's gonna make it. First, we're gonna go to Kerap. Maybe he can explain a little bit about Western astrology. So take it away, brother. Annyeonghaseyo, Yorobun. Welcome, everybody. Come on in. We're gonna do the final episode of the K-pop ships compatibility countdown for Kim Young, as J-Rap said. And we're going to uh, first start with the top 10 using Western astrology. So Western astrology is very ancient, has some roots way back from, you know, before Christ, but most of it did going back to maybe 200 AD, a person named Ptolemy and wrote some things about it that are kind of still used today. And it's a little bit different than uh, perhaps Batsu and Vedic astrology, which are more sidereal. Uh, I don't want to get into too much. It's kind of complicated. And this is called tropical. So it's basically based on a set time when, well, that has to do with the vernal equinox, the spring equinox, when spring starts. And so Aries, the constellation and the zodiac sign of Aries always starts at zero. Um, in the spring equinoxes, usually about March 20th. It varies because there's loop, leap years and things change, but March 20th starts the beginning of Aries and the vernal equinox, the spring equinox. And every, there's 12 different signs and they're all based on 30 degrees around the 360 degree circle to make the 12 signs of the zodiac for Western astrology. So in this uh, system, what we're gonna be using, it gets very complicated as well, like the other systems, but in this system, all we're going to be doing is looking at um, the sun sign of, of the zodiac and how they're compatible with Kim Tae Young with these idols. We're not going to get into other things because we don't know the birth hour, and that might affect the, the rising sign and other aspects. And you know, we're not getting into the Venus and the Mars and all these other uh, aspects. We're just going to look at the sun sign and see how they're compatible. So that's kind of what Western astrology is about. It's very popular, especially in the West, of course. First thing is we're going to look at the top ten most compatible based on Western astrology. And then we'll look at uh, who didn't do very well. And then we'll do our final countdown, our final ep elimination countdown, ep countdown number four, for seeing, you know, if we combine all the aspects we've done already, numerology, Batsu, Vedic, Western, we're gonna see what's the cumulative scores and who's number one. Number one most compatible based on these for Kim Tae Young of BTS. All right, you ready? There we go. So, J Rap. All right, thanks, K Rap. So, let's get to the countdown top 10 based on Western astrology. Number 10 is from a very popular ship. It's V Joy from Red Velvet. It's Joy. What's the score? Number 10. All right, Joy is number 10, and she's been doing pretty well uh, on some of the other scores. So, um, Let's see what the scores say for Western astrology for Joy Red Velvet. 81%. It's 
so eight, over 80 percent. So all these numbers are pretty high, or you know, 81 percent compatibility with Kim Tae Young. So that's a good number. And she's number 10. So these numbers must be going higher. So K Rap, thanks K Rap. All right, number nine from G Idol, Corner from Thailand. It's Mini from G Idol. Number nine, Mini G Idol, Thai girl from Bangkok uh, with G Idol Cube Entertainment, and she's been doing looking in the top ten. What's how she does in Western astrology? Her number is eighty-four percent. Pretty good. So that makes her number nine. Kara, all right, number eight. Using Western astrology, this girl is very talented, young, and she's from Cube Entertainment from G Idol. It's Soyeon. Number eight in the top ten for Western astrology, G Idol Soyeon. Very, very talented woman, uh, very young, but uh, she's done a lot. Let's see what the score says for Western astrology for Soyeon. Eighty-five percent. So pretty good, pretty good score. So let's see how it turns out later. Cheer up. Number seven. Number seven is also from QB Entertainment. She's from a different group. She's from CLC. And it is another foreigner from Hong Kong, Elki. Number seven, Elki. Elki has been kind of doing pretty well on, on a lot of these different tests. So on Western Astrology, she's at number seven. Now with CLC from Hong Kong. Uh, so let's see what the numbers say for her, for Western Astrology. 86%. So that's pretty good. And she's number seven. Number six is from SM Entertainment, the Mac Day. It's Yeri. Okay, number six, second member of Red Velvet in the top ten here for Western Astrology. And that's Yeri. And let's see what this score says for Yeri and Western Astrology. 86% as well. So she's doing pretty well too. Number five, using Western Astrology. She is uh, for a Japanese girl. She's from Japan. And she's from Eyes One, Sakura. Okay, top five. Number five is Sakura, Japanese girl from Kagoshima, the Kyushu Island. Um, Southern Island of Japan and she's on Eyes One. I don't know what she's doing right now because Eyes One has got in doubt, but let's, let's see how she's doing with Tay Tay as far as compatibility with Western Astrology. And it is 87%. So everybody's in their 80s, everybody's kind of going higher. 87% for Sakura. Number four. Number four, somebody from Big Hit Entertainment. Yes, not G-Fan, it's BTS. It's Jungkook. Number four, Jungkook, BTS, Taekook, Bcook. Hey, are you Taekook, Bcook shippers? Let's see what, uh, I know they had a little uh, misunderstanding. People, I don't know, people are always making rumors about those two. So let's see, let's see what the score says as far as compatibility with sun signs with uh, the Virgo and the Capricorn. It is 87%, so it's good, three points. So equal to Sakura. I mean, all these, you know, everybody over 85% gets two points. Everybody under gets two points. So that helps. Uh, and she's, they're equal. You know, Maybe Sakura, Jungkook, they could switch, you know, can be number four and five, they could switch it. Anyway, on Western astrology, number three is some somebody we can learn more about. And, but we don't know much now because it's the mystery star. Who's the mystery star? Top three, number three, mystery star. So we don't know who this person is and we don't really show the score, but you know, they probably gotta be about 87%, maybe 88%, we'll, we'll have to see. But uh, they're in the running, pretty high up. Share up. Number two, runner up in Western astrology. She's from a big girl group, JYP Entertainment. Yep, from twice, it's Nyon. Nyan, Nyan from Twice. Hey, I think this is the best she's done anywhere out of all the other categories. So Nyan about ready to come out with a new uh, new comeback. So with her Twice numbers. So let's see what the score says for her. 88%, good number. It's a lucky number. 
and three points. So that's going to help her score overall. And the top one and number one is in Western Astrology. This is some a girl that we all love. We all hope gets better and comes back soon. And she's from SM Entertainment from Red Velvet. The Canadian girl, it's Wendy. Wendy, Wendy, I hope you're doing better. I think you got out of the hospital finally and you're gonna be doing maybe a little collab, not on stage, but you know, maybe in audio. Uh, so we wish the best for you. We hope you're recovering. And so Wendy, let's see what she's doing uh, as number one in percentage on Western astrology. 88%. She's at the top. I mean, Nyan or uh, Wendy, you could switch them, but they're both tied at one or two in Western astrology compatibility using sun signs only for Tay Tay. Next, we're gonna look at see who didn't do very well. All right, now we're gonna look at who didn't make 50% based on Western astrology and may get eliminated uh, in the final elimination to come up. So, the first one, and we're going from the closest to 50% to the lowest below 50%. So the first one with a negative score of under 50%. She's from Twice. She's the Makne from Taiwan. It's Tsuyu. Chewy. Chewy. Tsuyu. Hey, I'm looking forward to your comeback. Uh, she was born in June. She's a Gemini, actually. Let's see what the score says. 47%. Below 50%. No points. The next one that might be eliminated because she's under 50% based on Western astrology. She's from Big Hit Entertainment. She's from GFRAN. It's Yerin. <laughs> Yerin, GFRAN, same company, Big Hit. She was doing well in some other categories, but here, no, not so good in the sun signs. So let's see what the percentage says. 46%, not good. The next person, also from Big Hit Entertainment. Uh, she's from GFRAN, it's Yuju. Yuju, Yuju, also from GFAN. These two big hit girls aren't doing too well on, uh, now that they moved over to big hit with uh, Tay Tay. So maybe there's something there, I don't know, but let's see what the score says. And it's 46%, same as, same as Jared, got in the same boat. The next person, under 40, under 50%, based on Western astrology. She's from Everglow, it's Xion. Sihyun from Everglow, a girl crush group. I mean, some people, she looks like Susie, kind of a second generation uh, singer, very popular. But uh, let's see how it's, uh, it looks for Sihyun. And the score is 45%. So, no points. And the last person could be eliminated because her score in Western Astrology is under 50%. Now, she's been doing very well before this. She's the soloist. It's Lehigh. And the last one who may get eliminated because of uh, the low score is the soloist, Lehi. And let's see what the score is for her. I mean, she did really good on the other, the other categories. Let's see what the question of astrology is for Lehi. 44%. So that's the lowest, uh, but not too low. Some of the other categories were really low. This is like, oh, they're all in their 40s. Uh, so hopefully they're surviving. We'll see. Let's see in the final countdown of the top 10 most compatible with Kim Taehyung. All right, now we're here for the final elimination, elimination number four. And we're gonna see who aren't, isn't able to compete and may be eliminated this round. And based on all the numbers, adding them all up, with the 23 contestants left out of the 30 we started with, we eliminated seven already. We have 23 left out of 30. And the first one to be eliminated is Nobody, nobody has a score under 50%, a cumulative score under 50%. So everybody survives, the last 23 survive. So now let's look at the final countdown for Kim Tae Young using all four rounds that we've done before. We did the numerology first, then we did the Chinese Batsu astrology, then we did the Indian Vedic Astrology, and then we did now the Western Astrology, and now accumulating all those scores, we're going to come with the final top 10 countdown 
of who is most compatible, based on all this, with Kim Taeyang, Tay Tay V. You ready? Army? Here we go. Number 10. She is from one of the big three group, girl groups. She's going to be making a comeback pretty soon in June of 2020. And she is from Lakme. It's Chisu. I'm not scary. Jisoo, Visu, number 10 in the final countdown. Let's see what all the scores are for her. In the numerology, she came up with 65% at one point. For the Batsu astrology, 74%. Another point, just missed two points. Um, and then with the Vedic astrology, 63% at one point. It's kind of purple. She's got some Mangal Dosha uh, that maybe uh, is a problem, but maybe not. So, so 63%, another point. And the last Western astrology, she's at 67% at another point. So her totals are the, v the Visu ship is averages out to 67% and four points. So she's at number 10 for the compatibility countdown with Kim Taeyang. All you Visu shippers should be happy. She's in the top 10. Number nine on the countdown are most compatible based on four criteria. She is very talented, up and coming. Girl Crush Group from G Idol Cube Entertainment. It's Soya. Number nine, Soyan. She she snuck in here. I don't think she was, you know, she was under the radar for a while, but now she's kind of accumulated some good scores, I guess, that we just didn't see. So let's see what the scores say for her with Kim Taeyang. In the numerology, it's for 67% and one point. In the Batsu, it's also 67% and one point. Very consistent. Then with Vedic, drop down a little bit, 54%, but still above 50%. So that's another point. And then the Western astrology, 85%, pretty high. So that's her that's best score yet. That gets three points. So that totals out to 68% and six points for Soyan. So she kind of, that Western astrology really rocketed her up here. And she has no score under, under 50%. So pretty consistent. All right, number eight. Number eight in the compatibility countdown. It's also from Cube Entertainment. From CLC, the Thai girl, it's Sorn. Sorn. Sorn from Thailand. So uh, she is next. She's with CLC, Cube Entertainment. And let's see what the scores say for her with her compatibility with Kim Taeyang V. They are. In numerology, she's at 77%, two points. In Batsu, Chinese astrology, it's 79%, two more points. Then in Vedic astrology, really went down, dipped down quite a bit, 39%, no points. And uh, for Western astrology, did really well, 80%. That's two more points. So total she has is uh, averages out to 69% and six total points. So that's Soren from CLC. All right, number seven. Number seven, she is very popular, popular idol, popular ship. She is from SM Entertainment, from Red Velvet. It's Joy. Joy, V Joy, all you V Joy ship shippers should be happy. Joy's in there. She's at number seven. So it's not Crush. She not doesn't have a crush with Crush, although she just came up with a song with Crush. Uh, I like it. It's good. But um, with Tay Tay, V Joy, let's see the numbers. Numerology, sixty-five percent, one point. Batsu astrology, ninety-six percent, top, ninety-six percent, three points. I think she was number one in that category. Then you look at the Vedic, Vedic astrology. Joy kind of really got hurt there. She really fell down, 32%. Not a good match, zero points. But in the astrology, Western astrology, she did came back. She got 81% and two points. So her totals are 69% and six points for Joy. Number six on the final countdown. This talented girl 
is a soloist. She speaks English. She's from, she lived in Dallas, Texas. Now she's in Korea. It's Chungna. Chungna. Chungna still, she kind of was hanging around quite a bit through all the, all the categories. So let's see what the total scores are in each category. So the scores are in numerology, she had 95% and three points. She was like number two, I think. She dropped down in bots. She still made 51, over 50%, 51%, just barely, one point for bots, Chinese astrology. And then with the Vedic astrology, she did well again, 76%, two points. And then for the Western astrology, Cheng uh, had 56%. And one point. So she's still over 50%. So in fact, she has no category that she was under 50%. So very consistent. And so the total score was 70% and seven points. Wow. So, and no category under 50%. So in fact, if you look at it, this uh, Jisoo, no category under 50%. Soya, no category under 50%. Uh, Sorn and Joy, they had some red categories there under 50%. And then Chung Ah, no categories under fifty percent. So, you know, that's Chung Ah. Final five countdown. Number five, in compatibility with Tay Tay, based on four different divining criteria. So this is a very popular idol. She's making a comeback pretty soon. She's got a team member on the top ten. And it is from Black Blanket, Rose. <laughs> All right. Hey, are you Black Pinkers? You, pink, you Blinks? Come on in. Are you excited about the comeback? Coming up soon. So um, I, I predicted that. Well, if you look at the Jenny, Jenny reading or Jenny Kim, I said in about two or three months, I did that in March. They'd make the comeback. So you can check out that, that reading. Um, but Rosé, yeah, sweet Rosé. It's Rosé and Tay. I don't know what the ship name is. You tell me. Rosé Tay. You know, B, B Rosé. Uh, B Rose. Anyway, let's see what the scores say for Rosé and Tay. 80% and two points on the numerology. Pretty good. And then with the Batsa, 57%, not that great, but still over 50%. And another point. If you look at the Vedic astrology, 94%. I think she was number one, number one of all everybody in Vedic astrology. So that really helped her. And then if you look at the Western astrology, 54%. Aquarius, Capricorn, maybe not that great, uh, but one point. So the totals are 71% and seven points. So she's number five. Number five, or number four. Number four on the competitive countdown. She's a foreigner. She's from Hong Kong, from CLC Cube Entertainment. It's Elsie. <laughs> Elkie, Chinese girl from Hong Kong, speaks many languages. Anyway, Elkie, let's see what the score is for Taeyang and Elki from CLC. They are numerology, 75%. That's two points. If you look at the Batsa, well, she really went down, 31%, zero points. That hurt her. But she came back up with the Vedic astrology and she got 94% and three points. I think she was number two. Um, and then and maybe she could have been number one. She could have switched with Rose. They were the same score, I think. And then Western astrology, hey, she's doing really good there too, 86%. That kind of boosted her past a lot of people. So some good high numbers, except for one. And so the total score is, for Elke, is 72% and eight points. So she's number four. The top three most compatible with Kim Tae Young of BTS, based on four different criteria, the numerology, the Batsa Chinese Astrology, the Vedic Astrology, and the Western Astrology. And out of all those four, all those scores, all those possibilities, this is the final three in compatibility. 
and it's kind of a shock. I don't know what to say here. Gary Rapp, you have to explain this a little bit because it's a three-way tie. A three-way tie for first place. Wow. So let's see who's in the three-way tie. First one from SM Entertainment. Um, Red Velvet, it's Wendy. Hey, this is great, Wendy. You've been in the hospital. I'm glad that you're back out now. What do you think? Yes, what's going on here? It's a tie, three-way tie. So let's look at the scores for the first one. Wendy, well, I'm happy to see Wendy up there. You know, she needs some good news, you know, going on for what happened to her last December. It was terrible. Still feel bad about it. Um, but Wendy, let's see what the scores say for tied for number one with most compatibility for Kim Tae Young. And they are, for the numerology, she was at 90% and three points. So at the Batsu, she went down. She went really down to 37%, no points. So that really brought her down. Kind of took her off, off the radar, but now she's gone back up with the Vedic Astrology. She did really well, 76%, two more points. And then with the Western Astrology, 88%, three points. So the total for Wendy is 73% and eight points. The second tie, or first place, is another person who's got a team member in the top 10. She's from one of the big three girl groups. And she's gonna be starting a, some new new things pretty soon. And from SM Entertainment, from Red Velvet, it's Gary. Wow, Red Velvet. You got two ties for first place with Kim K. That's gonna blow some minds, hey, all you shippers. What do you think? Yeri, the Macne. Hey, we got we got two red velvets being number in the top here. We got Wendy. I think she's a 94 liner, 95 liner. And then we got Yeri, who's a, I think a 99 liner. But they're both very compatible with Tay. Who would have thought? Red Velvet? Hey, you Rev Laughs? What do you think? <laughs> so um, let's see what the score says for Yeri. Numerology, 77%, two points. Batsu, Chinese astrology, 53%, one point. For the Vedic astrology, she did well there too, 76%, two more points. And then with the astrology, she did well there, 86%, three more points. So a total of 73%, tied with Wendy, and eight points, the same. And the final, number one, Compatible with Kim Tae Tae, Kim Tae Young, a BTS. Tied for first place with Wendy and Yeri of Red Velvet, based on four different criteria, is the mystery star. And who is the mystery star? Get up, can you explain it? And tied for first place, the mystery star. So now we can unveil the mystery star. I mean, obviously, if it's tied, They've got the same 73% average, perhaps, and the same eight points as Wendy and Yeri. The mystery star is unveiled, and mystery star is, is you, ARMY. You know, if you're ARMY, you know that BTS says, don't ship them with other people, don't ship them with girl groups, because they are for ARMY. That's who you should ship with them. So they're trying to give you love. They want you to love them back. And so if you, want to know your compatibility with any BTS member. If you're a true ARMY, we just kind of want to know how your personal compatibility is going to be with Tay or Jungkook or RM or anybody else. Why don't you just, just give us your hour of birth, the date, the month, the year, the city and the country, and put it in the comments and just, you got to like and subscribe first our, to our channel, because we can't do this for everybody. But if you like and subscribe and you give us the four parts of your date of uh, your date of your birth the hour the day the month the year and the country and city 
will answer you back and tell you what your compatibility is with your favorite idol. Maybe it's BTS, maybe it's somebody else. You know, it could be anybody. Maybe it's Forte. But if you want to know, you're the mystery star. You're the one that we're going to find out the score for your compatibility with your favorite idol. So hope you enjoyed this series. Five series, was, it, was, it was a long, wrong process, but I, my goal was to teach you and uh, let you understand a little bit more about these different systems as it relates to maybe Kim Tae Young, a very popular idol. And a lot of you have uh, asked for uh, your compatibility with, with Tay. So, uh, and we gave you answers for those that uh, subscribe and like. So if you want the same, like and subscribe. So uh, thanks j -Rap, for all your help as an MC. And thank you for watching and, you know, uh, participating with this. And we look forward to seeing you next again. So until next time, wish you all good fortunes. I'm your K-Rap Psychic. Try me twice, you'll like it, like it. My name is Wanuki. Oh, just call me Wanuji. I'm a wise fortune teller and a really mellow fella. Ask me about your favorite idol. See their future, see what's vital.